Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. In this video, we'll review an edition of the Book of Mormon that has one of the prettiest covers I've seen. This is a book called A Voice from the Dust, a volume arranged by a lady by the name of Jeanette Bingham Lee. The copyright is listed as 1939, and it seems to have multiple printings, numbered in the several thousand. The cover is a hardback showing a gilded image of the golden plates with gold beehives in the corners. This also has decorated raised borders and design. The spine is a sturdy uh, spine with gilded title and raised decoration. This makes the cover stand out among most other books. After the title page, there is an endorsement by Joseph Fielding Smith, who happened to be the church historian at the time. I guess it creates more importance since he became president of the church at a later time. Afterwards is an introduction regarding this edition and how it was dedicated to the youth of the church for alternative reading. One of the more interesting characteristics of this edition is that it addresses the Book of Ether and the story of the Jaredites. In the traditional edition, the Jaredite story is one of the last sections of the Book of Mormon and edited by Moroni as the last writer of the Book of Mormon. This is even though the, the Jaredite story was much earlier than that of familiar stories of the Nephites and Lamanites. So this Voice from the Dust edition, the arranger puts the Book of Ether in the first part with some background text and comments from Moroni as the start of the book. The first part goes through the full Book of Ether and then continues with the first Book of Nephi. The text of this printing has been converted back to a reader's edition with verse and chapter numbers removed. The notes say that there have been some creative liberty in editing and several and it came to pass phrases were removed to ease reading. Among these sections were also background editorial notes giving understandings or details to the reading section. Laced in through the pages are a number of illustrations and pictures assisting parts of the story this is one of the first editions I found that have pictures among the pages. This would be pretty unique back in the late 1930s. Among the pictures are several Old World pictures, illustrations, and a lot of Mesoamerican pictures showing ruins and carvings. So at the end of the book, Mormon writes his words, but traditionally it's known that his son Moroni added a few words in the back of Mormon's personal work. In this Voice from the Dust edition, the Normal Salt Lake Mormon Chapter 8 is actually the start of the Book of Moroni. So once again, this edition has the Book of Moroni as the text of Mormon Chapter 8 through Moroni Chapter 10. And once again, the Book of Ether moved to the front of the volume. So this is quite an unusual edition of the Book of Mormon, with the Book of Ether and the story of the Jaredites moved up with beautiful cover and gold highlights. Every now and then I see this on auction house websites and it's a unique edition for collectors also. I think there's a more modern reprint available too. So I hope you've enjoyed a review of A Voice from the Dust, a hardback printed edition of the Book of Mormon in several runs starting in 1939. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed on this series, Please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes, everyone.